Hello YouTubers, I am Random Man, this is The Random Game with my random friend. He will say a word, phrase, or a question in which I will randomly respond. Shoot. Random Man, your random topic today is, recently the town of Gearheart, Oregon held a meeting of the people to decide what to do about the 85 plus elk herd that has been routinely invading the town day after day. What do you propose should be done to correct the problem? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> for one thing, the re a lot of reason why the uh, deer and elk are um, coming closer down to the Columbia River, this is maybe far from the Columbia River, but bear with me, um, there's more vegetation in the lower lands, especially public, because people keep feeding them, like bears and whatnot. Um, they are looking for food. They're starving because they won't log the forests, which and they won't thin the forests, and they won't control burns. So what happens is um, it gets brushier and brushier. And, you know, sorry, I can't speak very well today. Um, the sun can't get in there to help it grow if it's, the trees aren't thinned up. So what happens, it dries out, and that's where infestations and wildfires start popping up real easy. So the animals can't eat, and there's no clear cuts, and they, the artist side want, don't like clear cuts because it's bad art. You know, for all the people that draw, they don't like stumps everywhere and it looks horrible. But guess what? The berries grow with clear cuts around all the stumps, like huckleberries and whatnot. And the sun gets in there and the deer and elk love clear cuts. So, sorry, art people. The clear cuts have to keep showing up. But that's one thing that leads these animals into town. They are starving. Um, bears are hungry, deer, I mean, every animal, not just elk. So, to round them up, they have to fix the simple ecology of the forests, number one. And then they will return away from town again when they start eating. They don't want to hang out with humans that much, but we're providing food. And the other thing is they like that lower land. Um, it's all about vegetation. That's what's luring them. So the environmentalists have got a big strang stranglehold on them you know on the forest and so um we're gonna have to bring in the aborigines with knives and say it's our way or the highway and that'll fix the problem build some fences some of the town people propose killing the elk how do you feel about that Whew. well i think we have hunting laws on that um I think it should be more fair, like every other year, um, each person, you know, I mean, it just wouldn't be much of a hunt if they're all in just one group and they can know exactly where they're at. <laughs> so, um, the forests have to be fixed to return the hunt, the animals back up, open the roads back up to the hunters and have normal hunting laws that don't change every six months or three months um, and then short to just a month and a half um, you know I think the Native Americans would even agree you know six months hunt six months off you know or every other year so they can replenish their population there is a balance to it they just gotta be simple and wise about it don't get all caught up with a million freaking rules just to end hunting. <laughs>